power systems. And what I'm gonna do is go over the wiring on our line of self-contained units. Looking at the control board down here, we have our L1 connection, the LO or the neutral, or L2 and 230 volt configurations. Here we have our ground wire. Um, here we're gonna have the line going to the pump and the neutral going to the pump or the L2 going to the pump in 230 volt configurations, as well as the ground of the pump attaching right here. The control hookup is right over here. So it's just a simple uh, Cat5 connection. And then this is the alternate air sensor. It's gonna go in the AI1 location. The remote air sensor is not required, um, but it does give a more precise reading. If it's disconnected in this configuration, we are now reading off of the display out of this little slot right here. Um, as soon as it's connected, then this remote sensor has priority. And then, so the sensor, you want to have it in the path of the return of the unit to get the most accurate reading. Um, do not put it by the compressor, as we've seen certain people do it. We want to be in the area of the return. It can be mounted like this. It can be mounted in the actual return vent or just somewhere in the way of the return.